Good morning. I want to show you the really fun pancakes that we make every morning. They're our little protein pancakes. So we start with four eggs. Stir those up. Add a little bit. I'm supposed to have all these caps off. I'm still learning to do cooking demos. These are the eggs that we use that are yummy. Then we use a little dash of maple syrup. Yums for the sweetness. Stir that in. Started with eggs, added some maple syrup. Then we're going to do just a little bit of baking soda. Good morning. This is our routine. Usually my son helps me, but I don't think he's feeling so great today. So he's laying on the couch. So I use these Vital Farms um, eggs. I'm all about pasture-raised, free to roam stuff. And then the two secret ingredients. One is pumpkin. So we add this in. I'm literally just sticking my fork in here and adding probably a fourth of a cup. That. So, so far we've done four eggs, a dash of maple syrup, some baking soda, about a fourth cup of pumpkin puree, and then I'm going to add some, I don't know what ak ackee is, you'll have to tell me, so then I'm going to add some vanilla. I add more than you're probably supposed to because I love it. A little bit of allspice to really bring out the pumpkin flavor. And no, I don't measure any of my spices. And my cinnamon. We go crazy on the cinnamon. I have a whole new jar. I'm just using up the rest of this. I know, one hand, this is good practice. I took the caps off of everything to pre-plan for this. Here's my dog, get down. Get down. <laughs> Added all this in, and then I'm going to do two. Okay, two more things. Um, one is adding some. Is this unsalted? Oops, about the wait. Nope, it's salted. So some um, butter that's melted. I just threw it in the microwave. Stir that up. Make sure it's melted. You want about a tablespoon of butter to add in there. And then I also am adding in a little old-fashioned rolled oats, a fourth cup. I have no, I've never done Jamaican cooking. So I'm going to have to do like a, some type of virtual taste test, right? <laughs> and that's all. So we did four eggs, some maple syrup, baking soda fourth cup of pumpkin to taste allspice, cinnamon, vanilla extract, a tablespoon of butter, and a fourth cup of oats. Then um, on the griddle, I just use, um, this is actually my favorite cooking spray. Let me grab this. This Pompeian grapeseed oil. Um, there's no propellants in it, so I really like that. It's great. And then to, when we eat it, I, oh wait, here's my favorite peanut butter. This is the most expensive peanut butter or nut butter I have ever purchased, but it is amazing. It's got seven nuts and seeds in it. So even though I do like to make my own nut butter, I, this is just amazing. So we put this on top of the pancakes and then we'll add um, a little bit of honey or syrup on top of it or we'll put um, some sliced bananas and a few of my favorite chocolate morsels these dairy nut and soy free semi-sweet chocolate chips from enjoy life but these are my protein pancakes and you can do any kind of variation you could add um, coconut to it but I want to show you so it is a little lumpy but we haven't used any flour so just the ingredients that I mentioned and just do a little spray on the griddle 
one-handed cooking. This is something. Let's see what happens. So I already had my griddle preheated. So just do a little dash like this. I let it cook, flip it. Um, they're really thin, obviously, because there's no flour to them. But the oats give it a little more hardiness. And again, you can add other things to this, but because I buy that nutso butter, the seven seed and nut butter, um, I, we're getting the chia, the flax seed, and all different kinds of nuts in um, using that nut butter. And then, like I said, you can slice up some bananas and put those on top. You can add the chocolate morsels. It already has the pumpkin in it, so it's got an, a really nice, strong flavor. And sometimes we'll even do frozen wild blueberries, either in the batter or on top. But we do variations of these, and um, I feel good because I know my son thinks he's eating real pancakes, and he's getting uh, some protein. He's getting his eggs. He's getting the pumpkin, and I love it. And then he'll he loves the nut so butter too. But if we want something a little sweeter. Um, I'll use either Justin's maple almond butter or, of course, I I make my own, but I I heart uh, butters, nut butters. So it just bubbles up like this. Um, it'll rise a little bit because we did use baking soda in it. Let's see if this is ready to um, but they are really, they're still really thin. One handed. Okay, I'm going to let these sit for just a second. This is it. They're gonna rise like this. But they're, um, I'm sorry, my three and a half year old thinks these are real, real life pancakes. <laughs> and I think they're just amazing. They don't have a ton of flavor. We did put a little maple syrup in them for sweetness, so um, I do like to add a little bit of, um, like I add the nutso butter, which also has no added sugar. So we'll put a little honey or syrup on top, and they taste delicious. And, my son will just eat them like this. Sometimes um, I'll even make them bigger and I roll them up like a crepe because they're thin and we'll put stuff inside them. I need a stencil. Hmm. And that's it. So these were all the ingredients. And it was easy. And this one just waits, waits for something to drop. Um, I modified this recipe from something I found on Pinterest a long time ago. So I want to credit the original creator of this. But alas, I've been making this for so long that I don't remember. But it is not my invention that I can disclose and disclaim. Um, so we did the four eggs. Maple syrup, about a tablespoon of that, about a teaspoon of baking soda, fourth cup of pumpkin to taste, allspice, cinnamon, <laughs> vanilla, tablespoon of melted butter, and a fourth cup of rolled oats. But you can add, oh yeah, I will, I'll post this, um, I will post this on my blog. And don't judge, I'm using paper products this morning. Our dishwasher was broken. And that's it, and then a spray and a pour. I love that sound. <laughs> Delish, and the last thing, my variation on top is, today we're gonna do nuts so butter um, I'll slice up some bananas and then drizzle a little either honey or syrup on top and it will be delicious. But it takes me, well, I've got this down to a science now so I can make these and cook them in under 10 minutes. Um, you can even make them in bulk and put them in the fridge and keep them for the week as well. All right, thanks for watching our morning pancake routine. Have a great day, guys. Stay well, be healthy, eat really good food. Bye.